Hey everyone, let us now learn how to uh, modify existing dimension styles or to create new dimension styles. Okay, so what we're going to do in this video, instead of um, explaining all of the different parameters of the dimension styles, because there are many, so instead of doing that, which, which will take a lot of time, uh, I will show you how to modify them uh, based on, on a an existing one that we don't that we do not approve of for example if the texts are too small or there are certain things that you want to change then how do we change it that's what I want to show you and you can uh, explore on your own uh, the other uh, parameters okay so so let's start so let's create a dimension here so if I want to create let's say a linear dimension okay so what have you noticed so if you notice it this is too small the text is too small okay you can't even we cannot even view the arrows as you can see so this is the default so this is what uh, AutoCAD uh, already said so this the arrows are too small this is fit for smaller uh, objects but objects of this size that we've just drawn they simply do not uh, they simply do not fit okay so we need to change the text the arrows and as you can see here we have instead of a dot for decimal uh, we have a comma and we only have two decimal places so how do we change that to three okay so let's uh, explore how we do that okay so in here can go to the dimensions and if you click this drop down it, this annotation drop down right here we have here standard for this is the text style and this is the dimension style okay so if we want to change uh, the height of this text let's go first to the text style okay so if if we click this drop down the standard okay, the standard is what we are using here okay so the standard here so as you can see there is the text height there this is 2.5 so let's say I want to give it a height of 10 okay so let's see how it will change okay so let's create a new annotation uh, let's see how it got modified oh wait Okay, so as you can see, there is a significant improvement in the, the size of the text, right? So, if you zoom out, uh, you still cannot clearly see uh, the text size. So, let's change it some more. So, let's go back and then manage textiles. And then, let's give it uh, 20. Okay, let's give it 20. And let's create another one. Okay. Okay, so that's better. It's a lot clearer now. See? Okay, so in order to change this, the, this to a decimal point and to increase the number of uh, decimal places, uh, we now go to the dimension styles. Okay, so the dimension style that we are using here is the ISO 25. Okay, so if we go to manage dimension styles, you see here, you can, you can modify the ISO 25 or you can create a new one starting from the ISO 25. Okay, so let's create new a new one. Okay, let's name it uh, modified ISO 25. Modified ISO 25. Okay, start with ISO 25 as your base. Okay, then continue. Okay, so there we have here many tabs. <clears throat> so for the color, line type, line weight. <clears throat> okay. So what we what we're here to change is the uh, units, right? So as you can see here, we have here decimal separator. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why the comma is the default, but it is the default for AutoCAD. Okay. So let's give it a period. Okay. And the unit format is decimal, and then the precision, let's give it the three decimal places. OK, 
Okay, let's uh, take a look. So as you can see, it hasn't changed yet because uh, let's create a new one. It's not updated. Okay, so let's uh, try to create a new one. Okay, so there you have it. There you have your change. So it's really cool. So that's how you change the dimension. And we've also showed how you change the, uh, how you create a new dimension style. Okay, so what, do, what else do we want to change from this? As you can see, the arrows are very small. So it's like a line. So you can mistake this for a line because the arrows right here are too small. So let's go back to the dimension style and let's change that. Okay, so modified ISO. 25 and then modify with modify and then let's go to symbols and arrows as you can see here we have the arrow size okay let's make uh, the arrows 20 okay let's see how that will impact our drawing okay so the arrow automatically updated and it's a lot better now you can clearly see the arrows you can make it bigger and in fact you can change the design of the arrows uh, depending on your application so you get you have very uh, you have many options here as you can see close close blank or dot okay so that's how we modify it and uh, yeah you can explore uh, all of these other settings right here so just change them and see what will what will um, what will be modified in your current uh, dimension Okay, so uh, that's all for this video and uh, see you in the next ones.